Got for an interesting night's work and, and I think a, a decent point come the end of it, albeit he lost in the penalty shootout. Yes, uh, disappointing first half. Um, I just thought, you know, we didn't play very well, but we didn't play very well because we didn't show the same energy, the same attitude, the same desire as what, you know, everything that we've done has been built from. And when you don't do that and you dip below our usual standards, you get beat. And we lost that first half purely based on on intensity, tempo, energy. We lost first contact, second contacts. We lost runners. There was no urgency with our play. Um, so it got us to half time, and then we we had to have stern words. Uh, but the players knew and understood what's required. And then they came out second half. Didn't necessarily play great. I thought 20 minutes we we played okay, but but. We just did all the things I've just spoke about and that got us back in the game. So that's a great reference point for us for the rest of the season to say, look, when we dip under our usual intensity and energy levels, that bad things can happen. So, as I said, we use it as a reference point and make sure that never happens again. Yeah, you did keep going until the end and got two goals. One, a good finish by Kieran Sadley and then a really special moment uh, for, for young Connor Carty. Delighted for him. Um, he is a natural finisher. He's He has that short back lift, you know, that quick strike before keepers can get set. Uh, and I wasn't surprised by the goal really when it bounced. I knew we'd hit it and I wasn't surprised it went in because he's been doing that in training, he's been doing it in the B team and we think he's got a bright future. Yeah, I mean, you brought young players into the club to try and sort of yeah. bridge that gap and he's an example of, of what can be achieved. Well, he's, again, a good example for the rest of the B team lads to show that if you get your head down, you work hard at your game and you do the right things in training and you do the right things in B team games, you'll get opportunities in the first team and Connor's taken his tonight. Yeah, there were a few plus points. Josh Sheehan's played 19 minutes and, and played yeah. well and Lloyd is great, great to see him back on the football pitch. Yeah, delighted for Izzy. Uh, tough journey, um, but as I said on Saturday, he's in a group and a team of fighters and he's had to fight and get his head down, but he's, he's shown he's come back tonight and showed his quality second half. It's a shame that he was the one that missed the penalty, but I'm sure yeah. that, that won't put too much damper on what's been a big night for him. No, look, we, we lost a point uh, on the penalty shootout um, but we, we gained a point with our second half performance and as I said the, the biggest point that we've gained tonight is that as a reference point we know that that energy levels needs to be a lot better than what it was first half. Yeah I think in terms of this competition four points it keeps in your own hands you've got one home game left to come against Leeds so you want to get through? Exactly that you know we've We've got a home game coming up against Leeds that we need to win now. It's in our own hands, and if we win the game, we're through to the next round. So, no problems. There. And technically, completes an unbeaten September. It's been a really good month. A chance now just to have a little little rest before you go again. Exactly that. We'll rest up, reset, recuperate, and get ready for the nitty gritty of this season. Really, those winter months where you have to find ways to win. It's not always going to be pretty and attractive, but as I said, we're a group of fighters, and we'll come out fighting.